Please join me in welcoming Dave McClure. What I want to talk about today is Hedvig Eva Maria Keisler. Now, who the heck you're saying is Hedvig Eva Maria Keisler? She, she was a nice Jewish girl from Vienna. And as a young girl aspiring to be an actress, she made a movie. She's famous in the movie for two things. Uh, the movie's about this young woman who's married to an old goat who doesn't appreciate her, but uh, then she falls in love with some handsome young studly guy. And uh, the things she's remembered for in the movie are this look of absolute wanton lust on her face, which apparently came across very well in the pictures. And then, of course, there was that scene where she ran naked through the woods for three or four minutes. Very famous lady. She was also famous because she married a man who was an old goat who didn't appreciate her, but he was very jealous. He was also one of the primary arms suppliers to the Third Reich. And she got to know Adolf Hitler, and she got to know Benito Mussolini, and she hated them. She also hated the fact that her husband kept her locked up so she'd never meet some young stubbly guy. In fact, he hired a maid to spy on her. So one day, having had it up to here, she drugs her husband and the maid, dresses up like the maid, and escapes. Goes all the way to London. This is in the middle of World War II. And who does she meet in London but Cecil B. DeMille, who has seen her movie, and he's hunting for young starlets. So he says, okay, Hedvig, we'll take you. But he said, ah, the name? Keisler? No one wants to see Hedvig Keisler. He said, there was a woman who died last year. She was an aspiring actress, pretty good. She's not using her name anymore, so we're going to change your name to Hedy Lamar. Now you're saying, Dave, what does this have to do with wireless? Guess what, guys? She hated the Nazis. She hated them so much that all those years sitting with her husband, Fritz Mandel, she had listened very carefully to the technologies of war. And one day, she and composer George Antile sat down and developed a secret communication system to solve a big problem of the day, which was the Nazis were able to jam the frequency of our torpedoes. So using a piano roll system, they created um, basically a communication system that could not be jammed because the Nazis didn't have all of the 88 frequencies that it operated on. Well, she got a patent and nobody paid much attention to it till the 1980s when all the cell phone companies ran out to use spread spectrum technology and discovered, oops, they didn't have the patent. Hedy Lamar did. She was in a nursing home in Florida when they tracked her down and bought the rights to her patent. Henry Lamar is famous for saying, films at a certain place in a certain time period, technology is forever. Now you know the rest of the story. 